Hi, my name is Mike Ellis. I work for the University of Manitoba Libraries. I'm also a Master's of Library and Information Studies student with SUNY Buffalo. I'm here today to tell you about One Stop Search. One Stop Search is the University of Manitoba Libraries implementation of a product from Serial Solutions called Summon. Summon, we hope, is the answer to what students have been telling us they want. Students want one search box to search everything the library has access to and more. They do not want to have to know ahead of time what might be the best database for them to search. And they do not want to have to repeat their searches in various boxes for the various types of resources the library holds. At the top of the library's page, in teal here is our one-stop search data entry box. I'm going to search for Northern Fur Seal Archaeology because I'm doing a research guide for a professor here at the university who is interested in Northern Fur Seals in archaeological contexts. So I've typed in my search and I'm going to hit the search button. Here is the summon results page. You can see we have been presented with 2,500 results and they're listed here. If we see a result that might be interesting to us, we can hover over the title and a preview box opens where we can read the abstract. You know, this article is one that I want, I'm interested in for this research guide. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this item to my list. You can see now we've saved one item and we can add to this list as we search and then go to at the end and save that. I'm going to add another a few articles that look like they might be useful for this search. All right, so I've saved a few articles now. I'm going to show you the saved items results list. So here's the three items we've saved. And you can see that we can export them in a variety of formats. We can export them to RefWorks and EndNote, which EndNote is useful for those of you who use Zotero, or another common format called BibTeX. We can also simply get text formatted citations so we don't have to use reference or citation manager software. We can just copy these directly into our bibliographies by highlighting the items and selecting copy. And we can do that for a number of common formats like APA, AMA, MLA, Chicago, etc. So I'm going to clear this results folder now because I'm done showing you that. But I want to show you now the refine your search area of Summon. You can see up here we have title refine your search and we can limit our search to help us drill down to those things we're really interested in. For example, I'm going to limit to articles from scholarly publications, peer-reviewed articles, by clicking that checkbox. And see we've dropped down to about 438 articles now. Now that we've refined our search to just peer-reviewed articles, we can go ahead and refine it even further. See that we have this subject terms area. We can go ahead and click these common subject terms that were found in our search results, but there's a more link and there's a more powerful interface under the more link. So we'll click the more link and we'll bring this up and you can see we can include and exclude these terms. So I definitely want to include archaeology and anthropology in the search terms, but I want to exclude whales and whaling dolphins and porpoises, and so on. We could do more, but I think you've got the idea. So I'm going to hit continue, and you see we've brought our results down to 105. This is a lot easier to get through than 2,500 results. Now we can refine our results even further. My professor is only interested in articles that have been published in the last five years. So I'm going to go ahead and say 2006 to present, and click the update button. 57 results. That's a very manageable number. All right, I've showed you how to refine your search. I haven't shown you that you can sort the results by relevant or by date, the newest or oldest first. Also, I haven't yet shown you the advanced search options. So beside the search button is advanced search. I'm going to click that now. So the with this terms box is 
very much it, it's the basic search it's the same as if you had done it on the other screen but on this screen you can put in terms like the author or um, specific words in the title ISBN from a specific journal for example they've listed here the journal of endocrinology or with a specific journal volume and issue so you could find out say all of the articles in a specific issue of the journal of endocrinology or any other journal you'd like the dates which we saw on the other screen as well and formats we have lots of different options here, archival, audiobook, book, etc. More than what we saw on the previous screen. Although, if there had been results in these on the previous search we did, they probably would have shown up as well. And we have some of the same options we had on the other screen as well. Items with full text, scholarly materials, exclude certain kinds of formats as well. So a lot of what you can do on this screen, you can do on the basic screen as well. Even things that you may think you have to be on this screen to do, like for example searching for an ISBN or from a specific journal, you can do that on the other screen as well. You just put it in the basic search box. But it helps to know what exactly to put in the basic search box. You can just put in the words the Canadian Journal of Archaeology and you will get anything that's in someone's catalog that includes the words the Canadian Journal of Archaeology. Now that will include any article that cites an article in the Canadian Journal of Archaeology. So we might not want to do that. We might want to say we only want things that are in the Canadian Journal of Archaeology. So we can put that in the publication title here. Canadian Journal of Archaeology and hit search. So I was saying you could do this without the advanced search screen. I just used the advanced search screen. What's going on? Well, the answer is I'm, I'm doing this to show you when the search is complete from the advanced search screen, you get a basic search box result in the basic search box that shows you exactly what prefixes and formatting you need to get what you want without having to use the advanced screen. So you can do that for a few different things in the advanced screen and learn what you need to get the results you want from the basic box without having to go to the advanced screen. Some people will prefer the advanced screen, some people will prefer to use the basic box. It's a lot like Google. In Google you can do an advanced search, but you can do a lot of those things from the basic box as well. For example, in Google you can search a specific site for a term just by putting site colon and then the URL for the site and then your search terms. Well, this does the same thing. It's saying, I want anything from this one site, but in this case the site is a publication title or a journal. So the last thing I want to show you today is doing a new search versus doing a new search and keeping all your search refinements. So, for example, we might want to do a search for dogs and someone gives us 1.3 million results. Well, you know what? I only want things from... Uh, I only want newspaper articles on dogs. So, you know what? I'm actually interested in cats too. So. I'm going to type in cats. And you notice, because the radio button keeps search refinements was checked, we kept that refinement about only wanting newspaper articles. If we had not had that checked, if we'd gone with new search being selected and done the search, we wouldn't get 300,000 results, we'd get almost a million results. Well, that's everything I wanted to tell you about Summon. I hope you'll enjoy using this powerful tool that's only going to get better as more of the resources our library has access to are added to the Summon database. Now, if you have any questions about Summon or anything else to do with the University of Manitoba Libraries, always visit our, any one of our regular home pages and use our Ask a Librarian feature to either get live help or, in the case now when the library is closed, you can send an email and they'll get back to you in the morning. Thanks very much for watching.